Chapter 9 Polycarp Refuses to Revile Christ Now as Polycarp was entering into the stadium, there came to him a voice from heaven, saying, Be strong, and show thyself a man, O Polycarp. No one saw who it was that spoke to him, but those of our brethren who were present heard the voice. And as he was brought forward, the tumult became great when they heard that Polycarp was taken. And when he came near, the proconsul asked him whether he was Polycarp. On his confessing that he was, the proconsul sought to persuade him to deny Christ, saying, Have respect to thy old age, and other similar things, according to their custom, such as, Swear by the fortune of Caesar, repent and say, Away with the atheists. But Polycarp, gazing with a stern countenance on all the multitude of the wicked heathen then in the stadium, and waving his hand towards them, while with groans he looked up to heaven, said, Away with the atheists. Then the proconsul urging him and saying, Swear and I will set thee at liberty, reproach Christ. Polycarp declared, Eighty and six years have I served him, and he never did me any injury. How then can I blaspheme my king and my savior? Chapter 10 Polycarp Confesses Himself a Christian And when the proconsul yet again pressed him, and said, Swear by the fortune of Caesar, he answered, Since thou art vainly urgent that, as thou sayest, I should swear by the fortune of Caesar, and pretendest not to know who and what I am, hear me declare with boldness, I am a Christian. And if you wish to learn what the doctrines of Christianity are, appoint me a day, and thou shalt hear them. The proconsul replied, Persuade the people. But Polycarp said, To thee I have thought it right to offer an account of my faith, for we are taught to give all due honor, which entails no injury upon ourselves, to the powers and authorities which are ordained of God. But as for these, I do not deem them worthy of receiving any account from me. Chapter 11 No Threats Have Any Effect on Polycarp The proconsul then said to him, I have wild beasts at hand, to these will I cast thee, except thou repent. But he answered, Call them then, for we are not accustomed to repent of what is good in order to adopt that which is evil and it is well for me to be changed from what is evil to what is righteous. Thank you for listening to this sample. The full-length audiobook may be purchased exclusively at audible.com, amazon.com, or the iTunes store. For additional Christian audiobooks or to learn how we can narrate your own book, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard.